Pete, what is it? A wedding! Mom! Um, is that train gonna put coaches on? Is he to make it go woo woo? Somebody holds a thing and then puts it down and that does it. Somebody puts it down. Yep. Sing to me my morning bread, the sweetest song I ever heard. Love's melody in your heart's own words. Sing to me my morning. When the sun climbs over the mountain Just to hear you sing your song And all the stars lay down in heaven To take their rest It's like a tie, huh, Juliet? Hobo coat. This is important stuff to know. Why don't you see it? I don't want to see it. 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 I don't want to Coach, just for you, Pete? I think so. Yeah. That's for us? Yeah. Well, here she is. Wow. So, we're burning the re. Plain motor oil right there. It's got kind of a paraffin wax kind of smell to it. It just depends on what the... each shipment seems to be a little bit different. Oh, okay. So tell me about the basic controls. All I recognize is a Johnson bar, and that's about it. Yeah, this goes down, going forward. Okay. Coming back, going reverse. Okay. Right now we're kind of in neutral. Okay. This is the brakes for the train, the cars behind you. Okay. This is the engine brake. Okay. Sander. Okay. And this is the throttle. Okay. And tell me about the different gauges. What are what are you looking? These for? are all air gauges right here. Right now, this is the one we got to set on. This is another air gauge. This is the boiler temperature gauge right here. Okay. And what's the B and E? What's the not to exceed limit on that boiler temperature? It's about 170. So right, we're close to when yeah. water. We'll add water here in a minute. Okay. And then what do we got going over here? That's the same thing as this one, except that's inside. Oh, okay. That's the fireman angel or bathroom right now. So what? <laughs> that's a fuel lever. And then that other one's a damper for letting air into the firebox. So, just like a fireplace, yeah. the fireman's job is to keep the fire manageable. Right. This, this sand bucket here is for, put it in there to blow out the ash. Do it everything every once in a while. Okay. We don't like to do it when open car and stuff is right behind us. Okay. It's a big, <laughs> a big fan. And this, that's just water glass, and I have one over here. Tell us how much water is in the boiler. Oh, that's critical. So a water quantity. Mine's yeah. right at the top, right on my side. His is a little bit different structure, so you can probably see a light up there that shows you where the water is right there. Okay. Oh, here's, here's the fireman. All right. What if, this is, that's just a light so I can see my lubrication. That's all lubrication. Yeah, it's all over It drips a little bit of oil and some steam and it goes out to various parts. Okay. And uh, are you just operating that on kind of on feel basically? Or I'm trying or, to get a drip every 20 seconds approximately. Wow. All right. Is this uh, your oil tank right here? That's oil and water both. Oil and water. Water back there, I said. Water is the red part. Okay. And then the black part is the oil part. All right. About how many gallons per hour are you 
burning. On this little run, I don't really know, but on a regular run, we get about 10 miles or 10 gallons per mile. 10 gallons per mile. All right. We'll and about 100 gallons per mile of water. 100 gallons per mile. All right. Now, are you the only steam guy engineer checked out on a skunk train, or you got a couple of you guys? Oh, we have, I don't know, five or six of us. Probably. Okay, you can rotate through. All right. So, what are you doing to raise the next generation of, of engineers and firemen? Trying to get them to pass the drug test. Yeah, oh, see, that weeds out a bunch of them these days, huh? Yeah. And then the wages are not what a young couple needs to make a living here. Yeah. Uh, work is summertime work, but wintertime is kind of slim chicken. Uh huh. Hey, Pete. Pete, come here. I got you. Look at there's the firebox. There's where the there's where the fire is. Nope. Is it a little bit scary? You want to try the bell? You want to try the bell? Okay. Gotta go up there, big guy. Look out the window. Hey, Julianne. Okay, you wanna stand up? Go up. Ring the bell. You wanna do that? Okay. That's alright. There you go. Julie, how early in the morning did you, did you have to fire her up for the 10 o'clock run? We don't, we don't fire night. for the run that the maintenance shop does, but I think they start around 3 or 4 in the morning. Okay. No, really? They told me to up at 1 what? Okay. 1 this morning? It takes a long time. You can't rush it. You got to go ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to, I mean, you got all this to fire up, but then you got to get the cylinders warmed up and everything else. Yeah, it all warms itself. Once you yeah, fire once you get it going, huh? Uh huh? Wow. So it just sits there and cooks away, and and they take care of all the water for you and all that. Everything's mostly ready when we come on. When you come on, huh? Right, great. And then how late you're going to do the two runs today and be done? One thirty, two o'clock. All right. Probably, probably a little later than that after you got. I guess we have to turn this thing around again. Is that what we have to do? Yeah. And Why? like you did this morning? I just leave her go, but I don't know. You can, well, we can't leave her go in with a stack going up, can we? No. Uh, wouldn't be going, though. That's true, huh? But then you have to turn around the right tomorrow. Yeah. And it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday operation? It's Friday and Saturday for the steam engine. The steam. Diesel runs all the other days. Are you guys, uh, you guys messing with a diesel engine too, or just stay with us? Both of them, huh? All right, diesel engine, I'm in the Yeah, I'm done. All right. And you got like aviation, you got regular check rides and all these oversight. Yeah, very good. Well, thanks for keeping the tradition alive. We'll try to get you some young recruits. If I can get out of my job a little sooner, I'd come by and <laughs> give it a shot. Guys. Yeah? All right. There we go, my next career opportunity right here. If you can pass the drug test. If I, oh, that's no problem. I got that because I'm already on the <laughs> on that right now for my current job. <laughs> I got me a new job. They they're did. looking for new guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't want to be around here forever. Oh, they're not going to be around here forever. I, I get trained up for so this they need some dump. new engineers. You just the main th the main problem these days is to get kids to pass the drug test. They can't get anybody to pass the drug test to get in these kind of transportation positions. Yep. And of course, the pay is not that great anymore either. But yeah, it's like everything. How many years has they been doing this? Years and years. Yeah. Years and years. Steam or other? He's on diesel too. Both. Yep. Oh, they're two qualified for both. Yep. Yeah. Now, what are, their, what are their respective positions? 
Was right. Friend? He's the engineer and he's the fireman. So right. engineer on the right, fireman on the left. And the fireman is just like tending to a fire at home, you know, keeping the fire burning just right. Who's controlling the water too? Yep. He's spewing out now. Well, it depends which water you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> water for the steam boiler or water for the wheels. Yeah, that provides a little lubrication and uh, quiets things down. <laughs> they started firing this thing up at 1 o'clock this morning. 1 o'clock? Yeah, oh for the 9 o'clock run, yeah. or the 10 o'clock run. 1 in the morning? Yeah, you got to warm it up, yeah. Yeah, it's like an old dragon, an old fire-breathing dragon. That's what scared the hell out of the Indians. They thought for sure it was the devil himself. It is. <laughs> it's like a spewing, hissing monster. Yeah. That's what the kids think. Yeah, Pete's just oh, genuinely it's terrified. Look at it. Listen to it, yeah. He's got, jump. And he's got the temperature right up there to 175 degrees, as, as hot as you want it to ever get. Burning about 10 gallons of oil per mile and 100 gallons of water per mile. 100 gallons of water? Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you for the tour. You're welcome. My morning burn, the sweetest song.